Hello! This video will demonstrate how to access and set up the Talent Cloud Remote Engine in Microsoft Azure, empowering you with full access to Talent's self-service web UI and ensuring that you can run your Talent jobs anywhere and at any time. I can start by creating a new remote engine within the Talent Cloud by heading to the Engines tab within the Talent Management Console and clicking Add Remote Engine. I will create this remote engine in my personal workspace and give it a simple name, Azure Remote Engine. The status is currently not paired, but once I configure the Azure Remote Engine from the Azure Marketplace, it will automatically pair. I'll make sure to copy my newly generated remote engine key since I'll need it again in a moment. I'll now head to my Azure Marketplace account. I'll search for Talent and select Talent Cloud Remote Engine for Azure. There is no charge to use the Talent Cloud Remote Engine for Azure. However, I will be responsible for any Azure charges associated with running this instance. I'll choose Get It Now and Continue. This brings me to the Azure portal. I'll begin creating my new remote engine for Azure by clicking Create. The first step requires me to provide basic configuration information, including giving my new remote engine a name and providing a username. I'm also required to select an authentication style for security purposes. Today, I'll just set up a simple username and password protection. I'll also select my Azure subscription. I'll need to create and name a new empty resource group. And finally, I'll select the region in which I want to deploy my remote engine. Step two addresses specific virtual machine settings. Most of the information is already pre-filled, but I need to verify the subnet settings. And I want to specify a different account name. Looks good, so I'll click OK. Now I'll move on to step three, which is where I paste that remote engine key I copied from the Talent Management Console and confirm that this is indeed the correct location of my cloud data center. And I'll click OK. Step four summarizes my configuration settings and runs a final validation. And after a moment, it ensures me that it is passed without finding any errors. Great. Finally, step five allows me to review the terms and conditions before clicking Create. It will take a few minutes to finish deploying my new Azure Remote Engine, but I can already see my Remote Engine resources being loaded into my resource group list. Once deployment is complete, I can head to the Talent Management Console and confirm my Remote Engine has indeed automatically paired. Now I am able to execute a new task using my new remote engine as my runtime environment. And just like that, I've created a new remote engine, accessed and configured the Talent Cloud Remote Engine for Azure, and I'm now able to create new tasks using my new remote engine as my runtime environment. Thanks for watching, and please continue watching for more demonstrations of what Talent can do for you.